Western Sunny Kebabs. It's the best in the West, as we say, but if you don't score here, you'll never score. <laughs> they really pack it in. A lot of, a lot of... I, I cannot complain. I get a lot of freedom from that yeah. home, so it's nice for me. Last around in Parramatta, and ask people, where is the best kebab in Parramatta? happening in power in power a day in a life because I can so let's go check out Parramatta people another video for you for you guys on here on my grind getting content hot outside as you can see So yeah, been filming a lot, getting a lot of content, so I can build the channel up. And all this thanking you people for supporting the channel it means a lot to me. And you know, it's good we can all grow together. Especially you people that's been here from day dot, watch the channel slowly grow from 10 subscribers to where it is now. Um, and like I said, couldn't have done this um, channel without you people. Beautiful day outside. Next so. stop, Parramatta. Afternoon customers, Parramatta is the final stop on this service. This train will turn around at Parramatta and head back towards the city. Yeah, we're here in Parramatta now, and we'll go for a walk so I can show you people what's happening down here on the street level. We'll be out here, give you guys real footage of Parramatta. Well, I might have to edit it a little bit. This train will stop at Parramatta. Hot day. So welcome to Parramatta. Parramatta is um, probably the, either the second largest city here in, the, in, in New South Wales here in, in Sydney. Might even, by population is probably bigger than Central City but Parramatta City is pretty huge. This is just lunchtime people getting off the train. Okay, let's go down the escalator. A lot of people getting off the train. So, Parramatta has a really big mixed population. A lot of immigrants here from all around the world, from Asia, from Africa, from the Americas, you name it, they're here. And from the Balkans, from Europe, everywhere. Okay, let's go. So, I just landed at lunchtime, so I expect to see a lot of people out and about having lunch. So Parramatta is situated here in, on the west. It's basically the big business hub and the, you know, where all the shops, all the big malls and 
are out here at west. So you can see, look. So the forecourt of the outside these buildings, see a lot of people around, out and about. I can see a DJ playing down there, his music is, can't get his music on, on the video because it might give me a strike, but you can see him from here. Yes, I'm going off here at lunchtime in Parramatta and the bus is still here. You guys want to catch the bus? <laughs> Look at this. Got the bus here. It's a bit windy so I don't know how the sound's going to turn out on this mic, but it's very windy. Ooh. Hope it's not affecting the video. So let's go, because I can. We're here in Parramatta, giving you people looks of the place so we catch the feels and the vibes. Right now, I'm walking down Church Street Mall. So this is outside the cathedral, that old cool cathedral, that church across there, right in the center of uh, Church Street Mall. Oh, I don't know what they call this now, but that's how I, I know this place. Look at this building. See, the landscape of Parramatta City is pretty dope. Now, another famous landmark here in Parramatta it's this store here, Peter Wins Sports Store. So this is probably the best rugby league apparel shop in all of uh, Australia. Yeah, pick up to the Penrith and uh, them winning the championship. Yeah, how's it going, mate? Um, of course, this is the Peter Wins uh, store, right? And I remember this being across the road. We had to move because that was getting knocked down and rebuilt and 38 storeys high. Okay. Can you tell just a quick, um, you know, for, for the viewers uh, about the better, how important Peter Wint's uh, store is? It's the best in the West, as we say, but if you don't score here, you'll never score. <laughs> if you don't score, you'll never score. <laughs> okay. There you hear it, guys. Maybe you guys are looking at the wrong places to score, not in the clubs. Come to Peter Wint's and you'll definitely score, right? <laughs> so yeah, this is iconic Peter Wynn who started the shop. This has been his um, playing days for Parramatta Eels. So yes. Look how big huge the store is. So we, if you into your sports gears, to rugby league, jerseys and things like that, there's definitely the spot for you. This definitely. So let's let's move. Great sports stuff here. Legendary shop. Hey, have you got uh, the Western Wanderers? Uh, I'm looking for a Western Wanderers hat. No, well, you sold out. No, I'm a Western Wanderers supporter and Warriors supporter. That says those are my teams, Miami Dolphins. If we're talking NFL. So how's, how, how's the store here going? You guys have shifted from across the road. We have. How long have you guys been here? Eight months. Eight months. Well, I can look for a Western Wanderer hat, because I need to get another one. 
it's not here. And sorry, you Phoenix guys. When it comes to football in uh, Australian League, I'm a Western Wanderers guy. But shout out to the Phoenix, Wellington Phoenix. And if it's Premier League, we're talking Manchester City all day. All about the citizens all day when it comes to Premier League. So it's a nice day, look at this. Lovely day in Parramatta. Beautiful. As you can see, very hot out here. Hot out here in Parramatta. And I'm going in search of the best kebab shop. We're going to go look for the best kebab shop. Now, talk to a Lebanese bloke back there. Old mate said, go down to the street and you'll see the best kebab shop in Parramatta. So, we're walking down this street and let's go see. Now, a few people have told me, pointed to this direction and said, go down and see this Turkish place down here is the best. They got the best kebabs. So, we're going down on the, on the tip from one of these uh, fellas back there. Old mate said, go down there and I trust him because uh, he said he was Lebanese so he must know a thing or two about kebabs or swarma so let's go see so this kebab shop here is that it? is this the place? western city is this the place? western Sydney kebabs So that might be it. Guys, I'm here at the... Okay. Yes, we're gonna get the best kebab in town. Well, I was told this is the spot. Western Sydney kebabs here in Parramatta is supposed to be one of the dopest places to get kebab, so let's um, get down what? Well, looks like there's a few people here, give us a wave. Exactly. A few, few fellas enjoying their kebabs. Okay. Um, I'll have a mix. No worries. I will try the mixed kebab, because we always go for the mix, right? And that's, do you recommend the mix? Of course. Can't okay. go wrong. Can't go wrong. Okay, my man. Like, um, like, do you like no. a bit of garlic or no. a bit of chili? Yeah, garlic and chili. Not not too much uh, carrots. I'm not a big fan of carrots. Too much. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, okay, I'll take your hand there. So, I should have asked for it. Here in the best so, kebab shop. Here we are, kebab food, sir. Use a mega-server. Yeah, you can go. Show you how it's done. Sauce it up, a nice chili sauce. Yeah, explain what's in the, what's in the kebab. A bit of nice garlic as well. Perfect combination for kebabs. Well, messy trick, man. Then here comes a nice fresh salad. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, can get it. Yakin, 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 yeah. You can help yourself with a drink too if you like. Okay, oh, thank you. That's on me. Okay, okay, brother. Thank you, I'll just get it off. Okay, how long have you guys been in Parramatta? Ten years. One of the best in Parramatta? Of course. Of course it is. And there's the crew here busy. So it's a, fam it's a family business? Personally mine, but i got some workers helping me out. Okay. Yeah. What's up guys, I'm right down here in Parramatta, Western Sydney Kebabs. People have told me 
this is the best kebab shop in all of Parramatta? Well, we're going to find out. Um, so guys, this spot here is really easy to find. It's on, uh, what's the street? What's the street? George Street. It's on George Street. That's it. So George Street, Parramatta, not George uh, Street in the city. This is George Street, Parramatta. We're going to taste the famous Western Sydney kebab. So let's go. Let's take a bite into it. Mm. Look at that guy. So good. Now, I got the mixed kebab. I'm trying to put a bit of uh, garlic and chili. Because you know your boy likes the chili. I think too much chili. <laughs> but anyway, so far so good guys. The mix of uh, the kebab is fresh. Um, you can feel all the flavors when you bite into it. A lot of flavor here. You know, everybody, everybody got their favorite kebab shop. I'm here in Sydney looking for the best kebab shop in Sydney. And I think I found one of those spots right here in Parramatta. Look at that, really pack it in. A lot of, a lot of different things in here. Uh, I can see carrots, a bit of tomatoes. But what's the green stuff? Tabuli. Tabuli. There's tabuli in here. And bread, the, the what you call them? The bread is so fresh, you know. It's not, sometimes you go to a kebab shop and it looks like they put their bread on for, from two weeks ago. You know, it's not fresh. These guys, fresh. So if you're watching this, if you're in Parramatta area, make sure you guys pull up. Support these guys in their business. They've been here for a long time. And, um, Guaranteed, you won't be disappointed. This is hectic. I would definitely come back again. Most definitely. Okay. Stay in the boss lane, people. Don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a like. And share the channel with your people. Thank you very much. So, there guys. <laughs> so there you have it. Just had a kebab. Definitely is a spot. You guys must come check it out. It's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 hands down one of the best kebabs in, in the city Woo, man that was so filling it was pretty huge too so it's nice it's always good to come down and do this content and really meet the people you know behind the food you know these people are out here running business feeding the masses but I tell you it's definitely worth you coming to Parramatta just for the kebab alone So guys, we're here getting, what are we getting? Potato? We're getting potato. Hey, this, this is my friend Potato. Tell, tell him what's your name. Potato. Yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> that's my mate there. We used to work together back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. So this shop here, what's the name of the shop? Street Road Pastry. Okay. And uh, it's the place to go for coffee and, and, and goodies. <laughs> if you're in Parramatta, this is right in the station in Parramatta pull up and make sure you come down and support these guys we're going to taste their coffee you know I've got high standards for coffee I come from New Zealand where the coffee is just like always on hundred percent but my friend over here she told me she recommended this place yeah I like it I and James. so here it is here making our coffee <laughs> okay obviously this is not our coffee <laughs> okay my bad sorry my man so yeah, and this is some of the goodies that they have in this store. All this yummy, yummy stuff. Hi, Bante, how are you? Oh, thank you. Okay, we're gonna go far. Me and Pratiba, we out of here. So yeah, we've got this seats around the corner, eh? So this is my friend Pratiba. We used to work together, believe it or not. And she's from Nepal. She's the cat, Katmandu sister. Yeah, you got that yeah. right. <laughs> that's it, that's it. So how's things, Pratiba, how's, how, have you seen Joseph? Joe Fish? Joseph? No, yeah. No? no. no. Yeah. She's studying now. Well, what are you doing now? What study? Nursing. 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 But she came here when I first met her. She was studying for something else. Accounting. Do we go sit on those low seats? Oh, yes. Yes. Look at this. 
good seating area in Parramatta. Yeah, and look at that. We are gonna taste the coffee. Thank you, Pratima. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and an appetite. Yeah. <laughs> the coffee. Cheers. Oh yeah, cheers. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> My friend Pratima brought me to this place in Parramatta, right outside the station. Uh, she she thinks what she says. Great coffee, Cos, so we'll see. <laughs> so, cheers. Oh, by the way, I got a latte flat white with oat, you know how we do. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. Surprisingly pretty good. <laughs> yes. So I give this an, probably an 8 out of 10. I know anything above 7 is great. You know, I've given 8 out of 10 in New Zealand, given 9, but Petri still got the 10 out of 10. But this one here is pretty good for Australia, oh, believe me. This is good. Very nice. I like it. I have it every time when I come to. Yeah? Um, when I finish my classes, I sit down to read. It's so one of your spots? Yes. I, I drink coffee from there. It's nice. Yeah. I am very specific about my coffee, just like you. <laughs> exactly. Wow, I can't believe it. Now I met her back we back in 27 no, 2019. 2019 and um, she was working with us and now she's gone on to bigger things. She's now studying for nursing and all the way from the pole and look at him. Uh, and I, guys, she's got a, a really cool uh, TikTok channel. Okay. Also I'm gonna put down her IG link or whatever link she wants to give me. I'm gonna <laughs> put it on uh, Put it on the channel so you guys go check it so i just want to ask you you know things uh just a quick question so i know i've known you since since then how are you liking australia so far i mean you've been here for a long time now yeah it's great i cannot complain i get a lot of freedom from back yeah. home so it's nice for me yeah, yeah it's nice yeah. a lot of work but it's nice do you miss uh do you miss um you know nepal Yes, it's a beautiful country, of course, I miss it. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do, study, work and everything. So yeah, really any message good. for the people out there? Uh, what I would say is, go get it guys. Just, you know, it's when you get all the opportunities you have, like when you're in your 20s especially, go get everything you can. Don't let anything slide by. Like I said, I worked with him for a while and I changed my profession here and there. You get to experience a lot of different things over time and uh, when you do so, I think you realize um, and learn so many new things. You get to know people, that's what you call networking, and like, you know, it helps a lot. I think it's good to experience and explore around when you're here and you've got the opportunity to do so. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. Just like the coffee. I come back, I come back, I come back months and months later, a year later, because we haven't caught up for about a year, actually. And man, she's got the twang, she's got the Aussie twang already. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Or seriously. Or seriously. Oh, gosh. oh uh, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> people, thank you for tuning into the channel. This is, um, you know, it's been awesome hanging out with you. Oh, well, having you guys follow me around and talk my ish. Uh, but it's really good catching up my, with my good friend, uh, Prativa. Really cool check. Okay, that's us for now. And thank you for watching this. And subscribe. 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 <laughs> like and subscribe and share, guys. Stay in the boss land.